don't know if it works. I mean, maybe it does. Hey, I think it works. I put the ring light like really, really far away. So this way, the ring light's not gonna like reflect in the microwave or the fridge. And I think it still works. Like the light still transfers to my face. Cool, right? So hey Jujubes, today I'm going to make vegan zongzi and um, I w it was like really spontaneous, like I wasn't planning to film this, but since I have no other YouTube video ideas, I wish I could do like some sort of travel vlog or something, wait there's a little like, okay, got it. There, I wish I could do a travel vlog, but obviously this is the COVID-19 era. And the reason I say, I call it the COVID-19 era, which I'm gonna keep doing from now on, is because I just finished um, Ling Ch Wait, what, how's his name said uh, in Mandarin? I think his name is said Ling Cho Xing? Ling Cho Xing? No, wait, no, it's not Cho, it's Ling Si Xing. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I don't know why I said show. Sorry, ignore that. Ling Tzu Xing. Okay, so Ling Tzu Xing's book. Hey, it's Julie from the future. Coming here to tell you how to say the author's name. Because <laughs> I got it completely wrong. It is Liu Ersen, second tone. Tzu, <laughs> second tone. Xing, first tone. Liu Tzu Xing. I think. I hopefully, hopefully I got that right this time. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <sighs> okay. Future Julie signing off. Um, Death's End. I just finished it. I finished the entire Three Body Problem trilogy. And so I'm kind of like a zombie right now. Which, but I just had matcha so I guess I'm caffeinated now. But, yeah, still working on the matcha as you can see. But I'm kind of a zombie because I like spent some sleepless nights reading Death's End because it just really got crazy at the end there. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, those books are so good and The Three Body Problem is probably going to be like um, a TV show maybe if it pans through. So anyway, that book series I highly recommend if you're really interested in sci-fi and space travel and extraterrestrials and stuff. So if you're into that, I think you will like this book series. Anyway, just finished that trilogy. And in the trilogy they always call everything era, like, oh, the blah 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 era, or the blah 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 era, you know? So that's why I'm calling it the COVID-19 era. <laughs> I'm copying him, basically. Anyway. What am I talking about? I mean, what am I doing? Oh wait, okay, so zongzi. So I have everything marinating, or not really marinating, soaking. It's just soaking in water. I've got lotus seeds and mun beans in here, soaking in water. Oops, a little bit came out. And glutinous rice soaking inside here. And I've got the bamboo leaves also soaking. And you basically have to prepare for this recipe like in advance, like one day or two days in advance because you have to soak everything and I've also got tofu and jackfruit marinating in the fridge and also cough and Chinese mushrooms marinating in the fridge and also peanuts soaking in the fridge so yeah lots of stuff that's in water right now or in some sort of liquid <laughs> that's how you have to do it you have to like prepare for the zones ingredients what else am I gonna say tell you. Oh yeah, I already made zongzi like two weeks ago and I made 18 zongzis in one day. So 18 of those little zongzi dumplings in one day. And that was very laborious. So I'm hoping to not make 18 today, maybe like less than that. Cause I was like standing in the kitchen for like three hours and yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was just, I wasn't gonna film today, but I just like spontaneously decided why not? Because I have nothing else to film. So, 
I'm gonna take you along with me on my zonzu making journey. The last time I made them was the first time I ever made zonzu in my entire life and it turned out really good, except for some of them were not salty enough. So this time, I'm gonna really salt the heck out of them. Yeah! <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm gonna drain the glutinous rice now. I'm thinking I should drain it in like a smaller sifter thing because like the rice I don't want it to like fall through the coals so I'm gonna use this thing except it doesn't really hold that much rice so we will see how maybe I'll just pour some of the liquid out first or some of the water out first so I'm gonna salt and season the rice with soy sauce and olive oil and um, salt a lot more salt this time than I used last time because a lot of, I think, the seasonings for the rice just kind of like seeped through when I was making the zonzu. So like when I was wrapping it inside the leaves, I mean, it just like went out through the hole at the bottom of the leaf, just dripped out. So the rice was not as flavorful at the end. So I have to like add more salt. And I think because the soy sauce is liquid, it just doesn't, I don't know, get absorbed as much or something. Okay, so I should just really try to drain the, the rice as good as possible this time so that there's not a lot of like water watering down the seasonings. How should I do this? Okay, um, maybe I'll do it like this. This thing's not that big. Okay, I guess if I lift it up then you can see better. What do? Or maybe I should just pour out the water. I don't know. I don't know. Water, be gone. Ugh, why are there all these bits that fall out? Okay, wait, so I just noticed that some of the lotus seeds sprouted. See that green stuff in the middle? And I don't know what to do now. I need to Google this. Okay, so I took the little green sprouts out because sorry to anyone who likes them, but I don't know what they taste like and my mom said they might be bitter and I'm not gonna take that risk. I, I don't want my zonza to have any like bitter sprouts in them. So yeah, I took most of them out. So I got some peanuts out from the fridge and I have to cut some kabocha, which is in here. It's the pumpkin, the Japanese pumpkin. Are you using this container? What container? Last one. No. Okay. Why? What are you doing? Oh, putting string in there? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to soak the string so that it gets a little bit um, wet so that it doesn't break as easily. Or at least that's what I did last time. What? I'm cutting this so horribly. This knife is no good. So the kabocha just looks like this. This is what I have left of it. Ugh, this knife is too small. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the big, big knife. This thing, ha <laughs> ha Is this the thumbnail? <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't think I'll make this the thumbnail. Okay. Into it. So you get two, you wash the bamboo leaves and then you get two of them and hopefully there's no holes in them. Wait, which ones are the ones I washed? Okay, here. Here. And then you put it together like in, and you make it into like a... Wait, first you have to figure out which side is the shiny side. Okay, the shiny side up. Okay, here. And then put them together. And then you go like this to create like a little pocket. Oh, I guess you can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Whatever, this video is not a tutorial. Okay, wait, here, okay. Like this, like so, you create like a little pocket in the bottom. And then you put your little rice in the bottom. Oh, whoops, I spilled a lot. Okay, I'm so clumsy. <gasps> Whoopsies, like so. 
then you put your little filling. So I'm gonna put the pumpkin, and then you put that like there. Ta-da! And then you just put all your other fillings in there. I'm gonna add some salt. So some cough, which is cough is just like gluten, I think. It looks like this. Looks like a little sponge. Okay, this is a very disorganized way of making zonza. Professionals or like actual good cooks would not do it the way I'm doing it. Okay, wait, let me, I literally have no hands. Joyce, I need help! Okay, so some peanuts can go on here. And then, what else? Is that it? I think that's all the ingredients. So then, more rice. I just needed help opening that container, but now I got it, so. Oh, I thought yeah. you needed the string. I will eventually. Oi. Then you put the, put the, put this on over it. Okay, I think I definitely need a, a third leaf. Ah, okay, this is so bad. I'm sweating. The ring light makes me sweaty. Okay, so I need another leaf. Do you want to help by washing the leaf? Okay. Be careful not to rip a hole in it. Make sure there's no holes in the dumpling, of course. I'm wasting so much, um, whatchamacallit? What is going on here? No, oh, rice. The rice keeps falling out because, mm -hmm. like, all these leaves have holes. This is really, oh, I ripped a hole in it. Okay, great. <laughs> Everything goes wrong when I'm filming. Like the, the other time that I made these, I was way better at wrapping them than what I just did. I guess they like are older. <laughs> the leaves are older. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> it's all like ugly. <laughs> Where's the hole? Here. So, do you have your string ready? Honest. Oy vey. This is poorly wrapped. Please don't follow this example. Here. We're using kite string. I don't think it's kite string. It looks like a kite string. Like that red thing, that red wheel that it came from is definitely kite. What do you mean? It's not a kite. Yeah, it is. It's No, it's just a roller for the string so you can get it. No, out. that's a roller that kites come with those rollers with string on them because no. yes they do because when you're like you're so like new to you're such a don't you remember how kites work you have that spindle thing and then you yeah. have it and then it, that's the spindle thing the kite spindle i don't think so <laughs> yes it is okay let me show it to the youtube world well actually i can't go there right now <laughs> okay let me up here Why would you need that much string for a kite? It's because it goes into the sky. 
I think the spindle thing for a kite is different. Okay, you should also do it vertical like that, like okay. here. Okay, so look at this thing. This Is this not a kite? It is a kite wheel thing. I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe it's, maybe you're wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so, okay, someone tell us. So apparently you can also do this by yourself, but you have to have like the string all like connected to like your cabinet or something because it's really hard to tie its own zi on your own. Yeah, so it's like a little parcel, a little present made from food, a food present. After I make three, I'm going to start boiling three. I have to boil them in like separate pots because I don't have like any one really huge pot. And so the pot only fits like three. Okay, so you, when you take the bamboo leaf out from the water that you're soaking it in, you have to cut this little stem part off and wash the leaf. So I need scissors again. It'd be nice if we had two scissors. Mm -hmm. Two scissors. Ah, no! These are like coming apart. The leaves are like coming apart. Because what happened was I soaked all of these leaves last time I made zongzi and then I had to dry some of them because I made 18, but it wasn't enough. Like I didn't make enough that I used up all the leaves the first time, if you know what I mean. So then I had to dry them back out and now I'm soaking them again. So they've gone through two dry periods. So maybe that makes them less tough. I don't know. So this is what the filling looks like. Ta-da! And then we wrap it all up. This one only required two bamboo leaves and I think it looks perfect. It's like more triangular this time. I mean more perfect than the last time because I don't really like the square zones. I like it when it's a triangle. Look at this one. I think I wrapped this in an even more triangular shape. Yay! So you put them in the bottom of the pot like so and then you add a lot of water on top and then boil for two hours. Update, so far there are 10 currently cooking, two in the Instant Pot and three in one pot on the stove and four, uh, five in another pot on the stove. I only have two working stoves and um, I ran out of glutinous rice so I had to start soaking some more and I'm not sure because on the internet it says that you have to soak it for overnight but I'm hoping that I can just get away with soaking it for an hour and a half-ish, I don't know. But yeah, so far I'm in the middle of making this one, but I don't have any more rice to complete it. But I was thinking this can be my thumbnail. <laughs> I have to like deliberately make thumbnails now, so. There we have it. Because if I don't deliberately make a thumbnail, then it'll just like every single shot is just like me in the middle of saying something and it looks really weird. <laughs> I also ran out of like mushrooms to put in, so I'm gonna put black beans in. And I've never had a zonzu with black beans in it, but I'm sure it's probably a thing. Yeah? I think so. Now the first batch of zongzi, the first three that I made, are done. Ta-da! The thing is though, I forgot to put olive oil in the rice at this point, so all of these three are olive oil free, at least in the glutinous rice there's no oil. Mm, so I'm not sure how that will taste. Mm, what else was I gonna say? My brain always just stops working. Oh yeah, I'm really full right now, so I can't eat these because I have no appetite yet. But they look nice and they're hot. So since I'm making so many, I'm gonna freeze some of these when they cool down. The two that were inside the Instant Pot are also done, so I added that to this plate. Now there's five on this plate. This time I also added hoisin sauce to the glutinous rice. I forgot to add it. Um, last time, whoopses. I'm just a mess today. Alrighty, so I just finished all the cleanup, all the dishwashing and everything, and there's nine cooking. So that means today I made a total of 19, which is more than how much I made last time. I just wanted to get, you know, all the bamboo leaves rid of. 
I wanted to get them rid of. I wanted to get rid of them, use them. So I ended up making 19. And I did run out of glutinous rice again at the end. So I just added brown rice, but I didn't pre-soak it. So I'm not sure if it'll be good. Like I hope it'll just, you know, be great and dandy. My mom ate one of them. So she said that she liked it, so that's good. And we also gave two to some visitors that came downstairs, a pastor, and so hopefully they like it. But I haven't actually tried them yet. I also ran out of a lot of ingredients at the end. So at the end, I just put like black beans in there um, and peanuts, because that was like all I had left. Yep. I just microwaved one. This one is from the, the batch of three, the first three that I made, which means there's no olive oil in the glutinous rice because I forgot to put that in and I also forgot to put hoisin sauce in the glutinous rice. So there's also no hoisin sauce in the gluten rice, glutinous rice and I'm out of breath because I just like ran from the kitchen to the couch, which was like, you know, like 10 steps. So <laughs> it's funny that I'm out of breath from that. Um, anyway. Here, do you see the steam? Okay, wait, yeah. I'm not sure if it's actually more salty though. My mom said it wasn't that salty. So I guess like the salt just keeps leaking out when you're boiling it. Maybe that's why people also steam bamboo um, zonzu because maybe when you steam it, the flavor doesn't seep out because when you're boiling it, sometimes the flavor can leak out in the water maybe. Okay, this is taking me a while to untangle. So this is the result. So it's still sticky even though there's no oil, so maybe I just like... It's not necessary to add oil. Or maybe the oil is just for flavor. Rice flavoring the rice. That's a bit of tofu. Actually, this does taste saltier to me. Yay, it's saltier. <laughs> Success then. This is good. I already had two. It's only yesterday night too. So, I've been eating too many of these. I had to at least eat one today because I'm filming today. And you guys need to see this. So, I'm doing it for you. You're welcome. So here's the cough. It's not focusing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Kinda, kinda. Okay, it's focusing on the end of the spoon instead of the top. <laughs> okay, fine. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. So happy zones of the season. Zonzu season is late May to like mid June, I think. Oh wait, let me try a lotus seed. Hmm, I really like lotus seed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm worried about the ones that have black bean because the black bean was already cooked. It might get really, really mushy. I don't, I'm not sure. I will say toodaloo now. See you guys next time. See you jujubes next time. Bye vloggy, bye solar, bye jujubes. And I hope you also enjoy your zonzu if you made them or bought them. Just don't eat too many in one day because you will have like the feeling of like a bowling ball in your tummy. <laughs> okay.